This movie time is brought to you by the Gateway Film Center, 1550 North High Street, Columbus, Ohio. Further details and showtimes online at gatewayfilmcenter.org. The award-winning It's Movie Time is produced by John DeSando. Listen to the shows and read reviews online at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. Yo, and I'm Kevin Carr. <laughs> Kevin, do you think that she could have a website called <clears throat> fatgirlsatthemovies.com? It was fat girls in any movie, at least. <laughs> They were really heavy-handed. They, they, they just did not let up on those jokes, did they? <laughs> so we're talking about patty cakes. Yes. A, a kind of female eight mile. I think that's a very fair way of saying it, yes. <laughs> so, although the audience, preview audience, was slight, Kat, yeah. do you think this is going to make any money? Well, it's one of those that's that's sort of like rolling out. It, it started in uh, like August 18th, I think, was when it came out. But it's it's doing this slow release, and I believe it was at some film festivals like South by. And it, it, it's I, I know a lot of other people who've seen it at the festivals, and so it's getting a lot of buzz that way. Okay, and and uh, as far as an engaging drama, what do you think? Well, okay, Patty Cakes is. It covers a lot of familiar territory. We've seen it before. You mentioned Eight Mile. It's it's like any sort of somebody going up against the hard cold record industry and uh, you know trying to break through. And so I think, in terms of sort of like the the archetypes it, it represents, <clears throat> it it presents those exactly as you'd expect. It. Yeah, yeah, and and I think you're right. There's an awful lot of, well. There's sentimentality about it. Yeah. There's some cliched elements. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you think about Rocky and then put it into rap, mm -hmm. uh, you've got that, you know, here's a working girl, northern Jersey. Yeah. Nothing glamorous about this. Flash dance. <laughs> yes, there you go. Uh, and she's having a rough time. I yeah. Mean, at home, good Lord. <laughs> I mean, her weight. Is the least of her problems. Yeah, yeah, it's the one that everybody goes directly to. But I mean, the fact that she's a white girl, and they even yeah. point out that she's that there, there's, there's some people in the, uh, in the rap industry that don't appreciate that, and they talk about culturing, culture appropriation, and stuff like that. But it's, yeah, it's just, she, she's, she's getting hit from all sides. Oh my! Personal yeah. life, uh, professional life, oh. you know, even just what she does. She's her grandmother, who's played by Kathy Moriarty. Yeah. Who I thought was fantastic. Yes. <laughs> Not enough of her in that. Yes. That great. Yeah. Um, it's, our, our lead, uh, played by Danielle McDonald, Patty, mm. just a terrific job. A couple of observations. First of all, she's from Australia. Oh, is she? Yes. I did not know that. <laughs> yes. So here she plays a Jersey girl. She's not a rapper. Really? Yeah. See, I didn't know that. See, I, I know nothing about this movie going right, on. I kind of yeah. thought that it was one of those semi-autobiographical well, things. Yeah. Where... I know. Now, in the movie, she's, uh, there's there are several shout-outs to her about mm. being called Dumbo. Her last name mm. is Dombrowski in the movie. Okay. Yeah. And so she's called Dumbo. Uh, yeah, so she has to face some things about her weight. Mm. And she's also called White Precious. Yeah, they do throw that in there. Yeah. yeah, all right. But, you know, I was so surprised it really wasn't about that. It, no, and that's the thing that I, where I said they really are heavy-handed with those weight insults, <clears throat> but it's really that's all very surface. That's all that's all very much on the top. But yes. the, the 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 stuff that's on the inside is about her trying to figure out a way to express herself, and and that's one of the things that I think they they do a good job, but they're very they're almost too subtle about it about her having to go through the hardships to change herself to become successful, and that's. There's there's a line that Leslie Jones, I think, did on Saturday Night Live where she talked about how Oprah get, got fired so many times. And then somebody said, well, they should have hired her. And she's like, no, because if she hadn't been fired, she would have never become Oprah. <laughs> oh, 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 great. And that's kind of what she's facing. In this. You know, and that brings up my observation that perhaps we don't even see enough of her struggle. I mean, doesn't it seem a little... I don't know. Or her artistic struggle. Yes, her I artistic be, struggle. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, we see a lot of her struggle in oh my family and, and everything else. Almost too heavy-handed, in a way. Oh, I, th I, think, I think so. I agree. Now, Bridget Everett, as her mom, uh, uh, Beth, yeah. is a piece of work. She is a train wreck in herself. <laughs> yeah, 
Well, and this is one of those. I mean, I thought she was fine, but again, that that this just lays it on so. Th- oh my gosh, Kevin! Yes. Where that that was my biggest problem with the movie is they lay so many things on thick. But it also felt the other th- issue I had with it. They mentioned at one point they say she's twenty three. Yeah. And her mom was a failed singer herself. Right. And she at one point she complains that basically I got pregnant, so now I had to quit quit being a singer. And I started doing the math, and I'm like, you were making kind of like a hairband album. <laughs> On vinyl in click, 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 what, like, 1994? Nobody was doing that then. That's It felt like this script was written 10 years ago. Right. <laughs> and then just got produced. And so some of the elements, they didn't change, which I, kind of took me out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, do you think an audience is going to warm up to this? Besides our, our audience that was there for the hip-hop and the rap, <laughs> do you think this is going to... Do something for Danielle and, and the producers. You know, I think I think it's going to have a certain uh, popularity. Yeah. I think it's got some hurdles just kind of built in because while it is about rap, it's not not really about rap. No, you're right. You know, and I listened, being a language guy, I listened for some of the lyrics. And you know, while I I come to classical music, I come to folk music. But oh, you do your rap. fair share of busting a rhyme now and then. I've, I've seen. <laughs> yeah, it. I know, right? So I am interested. And when I am able, in those few moments in the film, to hear the language, it's very current. It's it's very much a part of the uh, the life of mm. New Jersey and and the working class and so on. I really found it affecting when I could hear it. And but as you said, there's so little of the rap in this. Mm. You're just not you're not going to learn as much as you might as a as a guy like me would like to learn yeah. about rap. Yeah, well, and I think it's it's like part of the I think part of the the purpose of this movie is to sort of break down those cultural barriers. You got a big, heavy white girl doing rap. You know, she's yeah. not doing what you normally would expect yes. her to do. Yeah. And her hype man is a, a tall, skinny Indian guy. Yeah, there's a, there's a, it's quite an assembly. And yeah. the other strange guy. There. Yeah, the, the 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 guy they get to do basically the the music in the background is this. <laughs> Anarchist Antichrist, which is not the same thing, even though I think he thinks it's the same thing. This big, real tall black guy with dreads. Yeah. But he's not what you do. when you see something like that. And I think that's part of what it does is it challenges your preconceived notions of what you see. Kevin, at one moment, I think when they're making love or whatever, he tells her yeah. that his name is Bob. <laughs> I thought he was a great character. <laughs> he was good. because he was so understated. <laughs> he was. He was. That was a great moment. Yeah. Well, Kevin, this is not a comedy. It sounds like it. <laughs> it has funny moments, but yeah, it's, it's that hardcore drama. Yeah, but yeah. I, you know, I, I can recommend it to people who are curious about mm-hmm. hip hop, and uh, but more than that, curious about what it's like to live in New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, which is where we're not living. No, no. <laughs> last I checked, <laughs> Kevin Carr, the movie is Patty Cakes. Yes, and that S is a money sign. Yes, it cakes. is. And what grade would you award it? Uh, you know, I'm going to give it a B minus right. because I thought it was good, but it had some blind spots. And I'm going to give it a B because I'm such a uh, an ignoramus about this kind of music that I was I felt good about seeing it, even knowing that most of it was really about just a tough struggle for a working class kid. Yep. Yeah.